George Argo with Argo Electrical Services, and I am the surge detector guy. Today, we're going to talk about removing this tandem meter base and installing a new 200 amp meter base with a code compliant 200 amp main breaker feed for our new interior panel. Now, this meter base was installed about 40 years ago. This is a tandem meter base. It's really set up for like uh, apartment complexes, stuff like that, where you have multiple meters to measure different apartments. In any event, this one right here has been double tapped. This is illegal. Don't ever do this. And if you see this in your own electrical panel, you'll know that you're in violation of the uh, National Electrical Code. We're also going to install a new two and a half inch IMC riser, which is a conduit with a rain height head and a weather head on top. When this meter base was installed originally, the code allowed for the wire and its cloth sheathing to be mounted directly to the brick. Now, the National Electrical Code requires some type of a conduit, either a rigid, plaster-coated conduit, or PVC-coated conduit, or a PVC or IMC conduit. EMT is not allowed because regular galvanized pipe will rust. Randy's now making an entrance hole for his feeder wire. That's crooked, guys. Now Randy and Justin are mounting their new 200 amp meter base with a 200 amp main brake. Now Randy's drilling out the wall holes so his quarter inch red head bolt insert anchor will go deep enough into the wall. Anytime you cut metal conduit or PVC conduit, always ream out the pipe so you don't skin your feeder wires. Now Randy is peeling back the existing shingles so he can insert his rubber boot. This keeps any water from coming down the, the mass pipe going into the existing roof. <laughs> 